Uh, my broadcast just cut off there. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe just some problems uh, this time of year. Aha! There it is! Hiding. And I'm afraid not even you could escape my powers of observation. Crazy ass game. Wow! So many books, years of reading! But why would God read books that he's written? Then again, books written by God would be the best books. Why, why would I read books that I haven't written? I should write my own book, a book set apart from the rest. I wouldn't know what to call it. Autobiography, maybe. A Brief History of Life. Numa presents himself in Numa. Critics have called it the best book ever written. Winner of every writing prize for writing. The hallway called it the best book since records began. A small bench said it was a record-breaking record of historical records. Oh, I don't know what kind of book I would write if I didn't write an autobiography, though. Maybe uh, a piece of fiction. I could tell stories of magical doors that only open when watched. Maybe stories about a little wooden boy come to life. Maybe I'd write science books. As the creator of the universe, I could easily write an exhaustive science textbook. I mean... If I got something wrong, I could just change the rules of the universe to match the book. I could keep changing the laws of the universe and write new revisions. I could write every book on the face of the universe. There's still every book to write, and forever to write it in. I notice how things further away seem smaller. An increase in distance causes a decrease in size. This is called perspective. The irony is the implication. I must be the biggest thing in the world. Oh, that was quite easy. Where did all this marble come from? Because it's just here. I guess as God, I made it. I can't remember ever making any of this though. Marble requires great heat, pressure, and time to form. So how did I make it? Did I just pop it into existence? I guess I could do that. Or did I have it in another universe cooking for a couple of million years? 
Oh, both are reasonable. Maybe both. Changing it up. I need to work on my memory. Look at this! The world bends to my will. More evidence of my deity. The immense power of my mind. Bow before my ample brow, for I can move things with just a glance. Fear my gaze, lest I move you around. Hmm. What a polite door. Opening itself upon my approach. The right way to treat your god door. I shall give you great treasures for your compliance. This door? What a conniving door. You can see its proud look as it attempts to thwart me. Why can't you be more like that other door? That other door had respect. I have bested you, door. Are you not moved? Rotate about me, Bridge. Bow to my rotational power. I wonder if this is normal. Moving things with your mind. It must be. I am normal. That cannot be contested. Normal is the norm, and as the only thing, I must be normal. I am mighty. I rather enjoy moving heavy marble with my mind. It would be a tough job to move this marble by hand, to be honest. What, what are hands? Hmm. I can move bridges with my mind. I wonder if I could move them to laughter or tears. They seem to be quite emotionally dead. But with enough anthropomorphism, I'm sure they would lighten up. Thank you, bridges, for bringing things together. I wonder if these bridges deserve my thanks. If they're my creation, is to thank them to thank myself. Hmm. Well, thank me for my excellence. This world seems counterintuitive. Not entirely sure what's going on. I seem to be playing a series of practical jokes on myself. Who constructs a world like this? A world that attempts to confound me at every turn. Why did I make such a world? Makes me feel smart, I guess. How gratuitously self-indulgent. This game, uh, so far isn't seeming like everything I thought it would be. I thought it would be more like, a uh, mist. The world turns about my pivot. Is it that the world turns around me, or that I turn around the world? 
If it's just matrix multiplication, then the question is redundant, I'm sure. Cos theta minus sine theta sine theta cos theta. My conscious perspective makes it an incontrovertible fact that I am the centre of the universe. As a god, I can turn any situation to my advantage. The rules of the universe are mine to write, though they are rather conventional at the moment. Every room of this world seems to be carefully crafted for me. A hidden hand woven through the fabric of the universe. A fingerprint everywhere. A different hidden hand guiding my footsteps. The laws unfold. Their origins are mystery. But why a mystery? Gods should know all things. are creators. I must have created this world. If not, why would the world have the appearance of craft? Perhaps as I speak, a subconscious part of me is busy making the next room. It is my world after all. I must be working hard right now to build the next room, or perhaps my mind creates this appearance of order out of the noise. <laughs> of a mind. It is full of inorganic patterns and purposeful architecture. Could a series of complex interactions create an agent possible of making purposeful change in an environment? 
If that were the case, then it would make a compelling argument for a world without craft. Still a world optimized for some function, mind you. If something was transient, if something abided in this universe for a moment, or if something was removed, where does it go? A thing that is removed from the universe does not exist. A thing that does not exist? How can I know of a thing that does not exist? A memory of a thing that once existed. I need a principle to avoid this contradiction, this cognitive dissonance in my mind. How can I know of a thing that does not exist? What is this pervasive delusion? Things must exist forever. How are these things created? Before creation, they did not exist. Tense. Time. Time! The world has time! The world is not always the same. Aha! But I am constrained to this time. Why am I constrained to time? A god should not be constrained. Here's a question for me. If I was to study the corner of a board game, could I infer the rules of the game? Perhaps if I use my godlike powers of intuition. How can you understand a world from a vertical slice? Sometimes empirical knowledge is required, surely. Not everything can be inductive or deductive. If the world is made for me, for what purpose? Is it a test? Is it to be enjoyed? Is it to bring acclaim to its creator? As a god, I feel like I should have a stronger grasp of this.
I really don't get this. I don't really get this. Um, I'm just going to call it a night. I'm going to play some Destiny or something. <laughs> Catch you later.